In this video, we will implement process Twitter user function. And there are two things that we will do. We will first load up a Twitter user profile details, and then we will store some of um, the profile details in our users class in the cloud. So let's uh, begin with loading uh, user profile details from Twitter. And because this function is quite lengthy, I have prepared um, a few lines of code to make this video shorter. So we will begin by displaying activity indicator because we are going to send two different HTTP requests and HTTP request can take time. We need to display activity indicator to the user. In this application, we are using MB progress hood activity indicator. So this is the way we instantiate it. And then we set the label text and we set the details label text to uh, please await. Uh, we will uh, then instantiate um, Twitter um, object. Uh, and um, because at this moment, user, user is actually logged in, the Twitter utilities will return uh, an object which will contain some of the user details already. So that will be a screen name, for example, we can extract uh, about the user at this level. And once we have screen name, we can send uh, an HTTP request to Twitter API to request for additional profile details. And for that, we will need to instantiate um, a URL to compose a URL that will contain um, Twitter user screen name. And uh, we will create a new variable and that will reference to Twitter API and we will need to attach screen name to it. And this is the way we do it. And once we have this URL, we can create uh, an SURL and an S mutable request out of this URL by doing so. So I'm creating a new variable, my URL, uh, using this user details URL. And I'm, I'm creating a mutable URL request uh, using this NSURL object. Next, I will need to specify that this HTTP request is going to be HTTP GET rather than HTTP POST. And uh, once I'm done doing so, I will need to sign this um, uh, HTTP request using a special um, parse function which is called sign request so that's going to be on twitter object pf twitter sign request and i'm going to pass request object to this this will attach some uh, signatures uh, to our http request and will will make it a valid request for our uh, user details and now we are actually ready to take this request and send it and the way we send um, uh, we will use a uh, data task with request and uh, we're going to use an SURL session, shared session, data task with request. I'll need to complete this. And because it's going to be a task, I will need to make it resumable. So task resume. Okay, so um, once this data task with request completes, uh, we will be provided with three objects, a data which will contain the data of our uh, response, the Twitter um, response will send us a JSON uh, document, and then response object and the error object. For example, if something went wrong, if we have a connection timeout, we will be um, uh, provided with error uh, object and we can display um, uh, we can display localized description of that error object. So let's do that first. Let's check, uh, for example, if there is an error, then we can display uh, an alert controller to the user. So first I will check if error object is not nil. And if it is not nil, then I will first need to hide activity indicator because at this moment activity indicator is spinning and user can see it. So we'll hide it. And we will also uh, return from this function if error took place. We do not want to continue. And uh, we will also log user out. So I'll use um, a parse user object to log out. 
and why I'm logging out because we could not load a uh, user profile details that means uh, we cannot store them in our parse users class and most probably we do not want to have incomplete profile details so we'll uh, load user uh, out and a uh, user will try login and again uh, and uh, then we will display an uh, alert controller we will display a dialog message to a user using uh, alert controller and um, this is the way we do it we instantiate alert controller passing um, to it a message which is going to be a localized description taken from an air object so and that alert controller will have only one button which will have a label OK. And once user taps on this OK button, um, alert controller or dialog will simply disappear and there is no completion handler. We're not doing anything else. Uh, OK, so we handled the error. Uh, next, if everything went well, then our data object here will contain a JSON document. And uh, first of all, we will need to convert this data into uh, a JSON. And the way we do it is this. Um, because uh, we're going to use an S JSON serialization, and because a JSON object with data can, um, can throw an error, we are going to put it um, inside of uh, do, try, and catch. And uh, I'm using try uh, keyword here. And uh, this is because I'm already using Xcode uh, 7 beta 5. And that's going to use uh, Swift 2 syntaxes. So, um, and because I'm uh, going to handle an error message, I'm going to put this into do and catch. And uh, inside of the catch, I can print an error object. Uh, okay, so uh, once we have a JSON document, uh, we can uh, actually, before trying to work with it, we will need to check if this uh, JSON um, contains some of the data. So if, it, it was, uh, if it's not nil, for example. So I will use if let uh, parse JSON equals JSON. And uh, now if um, my JSON um, um, object contains uh, some value, then I can start ex extracting um, uh, information out of it. And um, the first piece of information that we will need for our user profile is a user uh, profile image. And uh, I have prepared a little piece of code for that. I will uh, copy and paste it here. Uh, so what we do here, we are extracting profile image and uh, we will work with parse JSON object now. So we will uh, check for profile image URL key. And if the key is there, then we can take uh, this uh, profile image URL and create an NS URL out of it, put it inside of NS data, and that will uh, start actually loading um, the contents of that URL and we will have a profile picture data object. Next, we will check this profile picture data if it's not nil, if it's not empty. And if it's not, then profile picture was uh, successfully downloaded and we can store it in our parse uh, user object. And the way we do it, we create a PF file uh, because parse uh, keeps images inside of file objects. So we create a PF file with data of our profile picture. And then we set, uh, we reference to our uh, parse user, currently logged in user, and we set this profile uh, uh, object as an object for key profile picture. And we are actually um, one step into saving um, our profile details in um, parse cloud already so uh, let's take uh, let's extract a couple of more pieces of information and then proceed to saving this information into uh, our parse cloud and uh, what we will need to um, do is to assign our uh, parse uh, currently logged in user a username because uh, every parse user must have username 
So we will, uh, for our username, we will use uh, Twitter user name, the screen name, and then we will also store it under Twitter user name for the first key. And the, the reason I'm doing it is because Twitter does not return first name and last name. And uh, Twitter also does not return a user email address. So there is uh, much of information we cannot uh, extract from Twitter profile. And um, so this is why for the username, we can store Twitter screen name and first name, we can use Twitter screen name as well, because often uh, it's going to be first name as well. And for the last name, we can simply uh, use a space. So let's uh, store this uh, user profile details now in our parse cloud. 